Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Miss Lydia from the Boston Library. Thank you for joining me for story time. Today we are talking about flowers. Our very first book is called The Digger and the Flower by Joseph Kuffler. It was morning and the big trucks were ready to work. Let's hoist, said Crane. Let's push, said Dozer. And let's dig, said Digger. Together, they built tall buildings for working. They built roads for driving and bridges for crossing. They built and built until the loud whistle blew. The other big trucks took a break, but Digger did not. What did he find? He had found something in the rubble. Hello there, he said. The flower was tiny, but it was beautiful. Every day, while the other trucks built, Digger visited the flower. He watered it when its leaves looked dry. He shielded it on windy days. And just before he switched off for the night, Digger sang the flower a bedtime song. The flower grew, but the city grew too. Soon, every space had been filled. Every space but one. We need to put a building here, said Crane, and Dozer started his engine. Before Digger could stop him, Dozer blew a big puff of smoke, and he cut the flower down. Then the other big trucks went back to work, but Digger did not. Look, the flower's been cut down. Digger looks really sad, doesn't he? When the smoke cleared, Digger saw something in the rubble. Little seeds, he said. He scooped them up and he drove. He drove past the tall buildings past the farthest house on the farthest street. He drove to a place no big truck had ever been. There, Digger stopped. He dug and scooped, and he tucked the seeds into the warm earth. Every day, Digger cared for the seeds. He watered them when their leaves looked dry See, they're growing. He shielded them on windy days. And just before he switched off for the night, Digger sang the flowers a bedtime song. And look, on our last page, there are more flowers springing up. Our next book is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt by Kate Mesner, with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Do you see any green plants there yet? Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. The wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, 
and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. And you can see some flowers starting to poke up there, right? Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says, and we pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in the sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Do you see the earthworms down there? Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! That looks like fun, doesn't it? And who do you see up in the nest here? We have some baby robins. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Can you spot that spider? It's right there. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato. Warm from the sun, juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, and a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids with water and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but Snap, who got it first? Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, a wind grows cool. The pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. That looks like a wonderful place to read, doesn't it? Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang waiting for warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, and earthworms curl tight in the dark. When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, Dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, 
under the bare arms of the trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Our last book today is called Fran's Flower by Lisa Bruce, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. She took it home. Grow flower, she said, but the tip stayed tiny. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge. Inside, she found some of her favorite foods. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. The next day, Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Then she gave it spaghetti, two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. Do you think that's what flowers need? She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. Fred doesn't look too happy about that. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny and Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. The flower pot fell onto the ground and rolled away. The rain fell on it. The wind blew on it. The sun shone on it. Do you see what's happening? Finally, the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day, Fran and Fred went outside to play. And when they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. A big, beautiful flower just for Fran. And that's the end. So we know that flowers don't need pizza or spaghetti or chocolate chip cookies to grow, right? They need sun and rain and warmth. And all of those are things that we get in the spring. So take a look outside and see if you can spot those flowers growing. I hope you enjoyed this week's stories. Have a wonderful week.